Good morning everyone, Michael Quatromini here once again at another yard beautification project. Chris, you like that line? Hey! <laughs> We're in Nocatee today, uh, it's about lunchtime now, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on out here. This is the Wyrick residence. Uh, it's actually kind of fun because he is out of town until Friday, which is when I'm gonna be completing the water feature here. So he's gonna come home, the curtain's gonna drop, and he's gonna see the final product as far as the waterfall goes, which is pretty neat. Um, this existing patio that I'm standing on now is gonna get a facelift. We're gonna do pavers on top of that, extending out and just pretty much doubling his outside living space with some hardscaping. We have this little half inch pipe here is marking the center of a Roma circle kit made by Tremron. And so that's gonna be, you know, one full circle. So coming in this side, right up against it, this is where we're gonna be doing our pondless waterfall. So keeping in mind, we have some big windows that we're gonna capture uh, waterfall viewing from each one, really. Those two will be caught by the top one and it's gonna do a little, little dive down and then go straight into these large sliding door area. So that is their, I wanna say it's a breakfast nook where they eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, stuff like that. So capturing all those views is definitely important and we'll be able to make that happen, no problem. Uh, I'm here till Friday, then Sydney Sherling is going to be taking over. He's going to be installing landscape off the patio. He's going to be installing the patio and he's going to be making this job 100%. This is day number three, challenge number three. Yeah, I like the two little falls down at the bottom. Yeah, you know. The second one ended up being two, two falls. Yeah. So what Brian's talking about is I, I basically got lucky that it looks cool, but I only intended water to come through here. Um, and I got lucky because it started going over this way and it looks nice. So we got a total of one, two, three, four, five, five little waterfalls, nothing too crazy. This is, try to keep it real low. Um, yeah, we had the excavator out on this job. That's different than the other two. Uh, it might've, yeah, it's a little easier. That dingo is, it just doesn't work well going up on slopes and the reach, it doesn't have the same reach. This thing made it a breeze for us, which I don't know, it's just, yeah, it was it was a perk. It was a perk to the job. So what we're, what we're working on now is once again there's going to be a 12 foot uh, circle paver area here, coming right up to the pondless. Um, see, it's coming in Monday to start all that craziness. We're working on a retaining wall here, which is going to be cool because once they're on their patio, their patio height's going to be almost six inches higher than this dirt here, but they'll be able to you know, take a seat here and talk, do whatever they do, shoot dice, hang out, have a drink or something. So we're working on that, holding back all this earth that's creating our top waterfall elevation. And Chris is out front with Tony. They're working on just moving dirt back here for us. And we're just kind of, we got one more big rock to set and then probably a handful of these smaller ones to, uh, to place as well. Yeah, overall I'm happy with it. Pretty stoked on it. How 
Hi everybody, we are back at the Wyrick residence. We've done quite an extensive job in the backyard. We've got a water feature, a patio, plantings. We did a little bit of planting up front here. This was a builder lot, didn't have a whole lot of interest to it, didn't have any entertaining area. And we've basically transformed the backyard into pretty much of an oasis. I think the Wyricks are thinking about possibly adding a pergola in the future and we've done some lighting out here that highlights the front of the house as well as the back of the house. So we are here in the backyard at the Wyrick residence. Uh, Mr. Wyrick or Jim came to us several weeks ago looking to do kind of an oasis kind of feature in his backyard. I think initially we discussed doing a patio, but I think in his heart the thing that he was most driven to do was a water feature. and. Uh, I think we came up with a, a kind of a cool design. Um, the neighborhood out here doesn't lend itself to a lot of privacy, so that was another consideration that we had to take in to account here. And then his wife wanted to add some color and attract some butterflies and, and bees and whatnot. And I know they talked with a couple other uh, companies, but they decided to go with our design and they let us do a really nice design and do a lot of work and they, they it wasn't so much that they were trying to keep a budget in mind respectful of of not going crazy with it i think we accomplished a, a really cool design back here and i very much appreciate that they allowed us to to work without um, trying to keep it under a, a certain small amount and they let us think big so this kind of let us do the big picture. I know they're still considering doing a pergola in the future, but Mr. Mr. Jim, I hopefully we did what you're uh, what you're wanting, and hopefully your wife likes it as as much as I think you do. Absolutely, David. You guys have uh, created the, the backyard of our dreams, and uh, as you mentioned, we initially were looking for privacy and expanding our patio. And, my dream, the water feature. So I, I uh, showed you my piece of paper, my design on paper, and you've created a masterpiece. And I cannot thank you enough. This has really, really met our needs and uh, fulfilled all of our expectations. So thank you very much. I yeah, appreciate it. I enjoyed this. Is a, this is a really cool project. Um, the fact that we got to incorporate a water feature that's like a central in the patio area. I think it's also visible from inside the house and from where they where they they eat their dinner. So I think even in the winter time if you're not sitting out here, they will derive enjoyment from it. And as you can hear there's birds out here. Uh, we've got some bees and some butterflies out here as well. And uh, We've incorporated some things that will draw hummingbirds as well. So I know this project will be on the pond tour. I think they're looking forward to showing it off. Um, if you'd like to do the same thing in your backyard or smaller or, or larger or whatever the, the needs may, may be, um, we'd love to help you out. Um, check us out on Facebook. Um, give us a thumbs up on YouTube and thank you very much. I think the thing that you're going to see in a few weeks is the fact that the Amistad salvia are going to get approximately three feet tall. I think those are going to be really cool. They're going to be significantly higher than these guys. And I think once, once the mockingbird decides to leave us alone, but I think as stuff starts to grow in, um, I think it'll get a little bit more interesting as it matures. Well, I'll so. tell you that blooming one right there. Oh, the, the aptenia? That just really put a smile on our face. The other oh, that's, that's very cool. Because I, I, I think, and I probably, if I had my druthers, I'd probably add a couple more of them in here. I just run out of, sometimes I run out of thoughts and, and whatnot. So, and the other thing too, I think you're going to see is the, um, the, the ones over there that aren't showing any color. The the, um, the Tibuchina. I think when they start to bloom, those would be really cool looking.